happy Labor Day, everybody. On today's episode of Level Up, we're going to be talking about who am I? Now, in order to know who we are and gain our identity, because we get our identity through Jesus Christ. And so we want to properly have a picture of who Jesus Christ is and we're going to be in the book of Matthew uh, talking about those things. And once again, as you guys know, uh, here on Level Up, we've been having uh, Brian Sharon. Happy, you know, happy to have him with us again. And so, Brian, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself to our, our guest and, um, and, and introduce the topic here as well. Sure. Well, my name is Brian Sharon, and I'm, I think this topic of who am I uh, I think that kind of goes both ways as who am I in Jesus and who is Jesus. So I think that's the foundation of all maturity um, in Christ that we have to search out for. Amen. Amen. So, so we're, we're going to go here in, in, in this, in, in Matthew, and I'm going to share my screen here, hopefully without any problems or delay, but I'm going to share because I want you to see exactly what we are reading uh, here in the book of uh, Matthew as well. So as that comes up here on the screen. So like I said, we are going to be in the book of Matthew, uh, verse number, uh, chapter number 16 and verse number 13. And it says this, it says, now the, this is Jesus. This is his dialogue between him and his disciples. So there's no, you know, in disciple just, the simplest term of it means follower of Jesus Christ. That's who all, all of us are followers of Jesus Christ. So here in verse 13, it says, um, when Jesus came to, uh, came to the region of Caesarea uh, Philippi, he asked his disciples, who do people say that the son of man is? Verse 14, well, they replied, some say John the Baptist, some say Elijah, and others say Jeremiah or one of the other prophets. Then he asks, then he asks them, but who do you say I am? And Simon Peter, verse 16, answered, you are the Messiah, the son of the living God. Jesus replied, you are blessed, Simon son of John, because my father in heaven has revealed this to you. You, you did not learn this from any human being. In verse uh, 18, now I say to you that you are Peter, which means rock. And upon this rock, I will build my church and all the powers of, of hell will not do, uh, will, will not conquer. And it goes on, conquer it. In verse 19, it says, and I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. What, whatever you forbid on earth will be forbidden in heaven. And whatever you, whatever you permit on earth will be permitted in heaven. So these words that are in red, these are G the words of Jesus Christ um, that were recorded here in the book of Matthew. And, and I think there's some interesting things here because I believe that um, there, there's two parts to this, as, 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 as Brian alluded to earlier. It's not only who we are in Christ, but it, it's who Christ is. And so when, when, when God told Peter he said, you are the rock. Well, we also know that what? That Jesus is the rock. He's the cornerstone. He's the cornerstone of our faith. So, so who we are, we first get our identity in him, Jesus the Christ. And, and, and this is what he said. He said, no man can teach, you, taught you this. You didn't learn this from a person. So, so we, as you know, you know, us being here on, on social media or wherever you're watching this at, you are, we're introducing the concept 
but you have to receive this and you have to, only God can reveal those things to you. And so at this point, I would like to, you know, have Brian uh, maybe comment on this scripture and uh, we want to take this scripture a little further. So Brian, I want you to go ahead and, um, and share your insight on this scripture as well. Sure. When Jesus asked them, who do men say that I am? He's trying to find out what is your personal perspective of me? And I think as Christians, that's why the Bible says to study to show yourself approved, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, but rightly dividing the word of truth. The reason why it says that is we have to have a, a, a foundation of knowing who is Jesus. Because because just like in the in the Muslim community, they believe that he's a prophet. They believe that he's a teacher, but they don't believe that he's the savior. And I, and I think we, as Christians, we have to understand who is Jesus and Jesus is my healer. Jesus is, you know, whatever I need, but he's much more than those things. He is, he, he's God. And I think that we have to have a foundational understanding of who Jesus is in our life, not our parents' life, not the pastor's life, not anybody else's but who is jesus to me and we got to walk that out as christians amen amen so 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 there, there's a there's a few things here and i don't you know it's it's too much to go into and in, to and then just this short uh, 10 minute span here but first of all the bible does also tell us to what we have to work out our own salvation you know the you know, nobody can walk that salvation out but you. You know, you, now we now he's given us his word. He's given us uh, the fivefold ministry. Uh, if we're in fellowship with people and we attend church, all those things play into it. But, um, you know, just because you go to church doesn't make you a Christian. You know, just because... Um, you know, I could put some metal in a garage that doesn't make it a car. What makes us who we are in Jesus Christ, first of all, is the, it, the operative word is Christ. He is the anointed one. And the Jesus is the anointed one and Christ means and his anointing. And so in the book of, of Acts at Antioch, they first were called what? Christians or Christians. And so this term Christians means that we are, we are associated, we are associated with the anointing and what that brings about, not only in our own life, but what that brings about in the world through us as, as that rock that he referred to, to Peter, that Peter is that rock. We are to be the, the rock just as he is the rock, as he is the cornerstone. And so this, this goes back to what, you know, where I, where I say, hey, we have to love the sinner, but hate our own sin. And I think so many times we start, we start to look at other people and other things. And I'm not saying that we shouldn't emulate those who are following Christ because the apostle Paul said this, he said, follow me as I follow Christ. But there's, there's four things that I think we, as Christians, we need to really concentrate on. One is we, we, we have to love God. You know, the second thing is we have to love people. The third thing is I think we need to walk in the humility of the word. And I think sometimes when you say humility, people think that, you know, that word actually means meekness. Meekness does not mean that we're weak. That means that we take our free, free will and submit it humbly to the, to the word of God and walk out our salvation in that. And the fourth thing I believe, and I think this is, this is where the church, this is where we need to work on this individually, is we need to live holy. So, so it's love God, love people, be humble, and be holy. And so, Brian, I want to uh, close us out today with 
you know, your final insight in, in a word of prayer for those that are watching. Sure. <clears throat> I, I just think that once we receive Christ as our Savior, that's the starting point. And we got to engulf the word. We got to read the word and we got to start praying and we started got, you know, start growing in Christ. And the more we grow in him, the more that the Holy Spirit will, will reveal deeper depths of who Christ is in our lives. But Heavenly Father, we, we thank you for every person who is watching or listening. We pray right now, Holy Spirit, reveal to every person who is Jesus to them. And Father, we ask you right now to minister to them, to strengthen them, to encourage them, and to guide them in truth. In Jesus' name, amen. Yes, and Lord, we just, we just help us, Lord God, as, as ministers, help us, Lord God, as believers in you to continue to walk in that humility, to continue to uh, seek you because every day brings a different challenge. Every day brings a different distraction. Every day brings um, something that will challenge who you are and who we need to be in you. So today, Father God, I agree with the, with Brian's prayer. I pray, Lord God, for each and every person. And I just want to echo amen and amen. And so, hey, listen, tomorrow we're going to go, we're going to go deeper into this because I want to, I want to talk about more about our identity in Jesus Christ. And, you know, a lot of times when you meet people, we talk about, well, you know, people say, well, you know, when you introduce yourself, you, you say what profession you are, these other things, but no, who are you in Jesus Christ as a believer? So, hey, check us out uh, on our next episode of Level Up. Be blessed, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Hey, make sure you hit the subscribe button and follow us on, on our social media platforms.